It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. I wrote a blog post a couple years ago when I was living in Vancouver about how to look good in photos, how to you know put your best self forward. And I thought that's a really fun thing to talk about on YouTube, but I do a lot of beauty, so I thought how to look good, no, let's say this, how to look pretty in photos, but fast. So how to instantly look pretty in photos. And this is one of those videos that I feel like everybody could use because there's gonna be something in it for everybody. So let's do this. This is my 11 best tips. Number one is good posture and it's something that I have struggled with my entire life. I remember sitting at the dinner table and my dad always said, sit up straight. And as I have been working out these last few months, that's something that I've really worked on. And so the tip that my trainer has given me is to take the back of your bra strap and push it forward and bring your shoulders back. And that will instantly give you better posture. Good posture looks so much better in photos. And if you don't believe me, go look at yourself in the mirror. Look at yourself slumped down over like where you naturally want to sit or stand like this. And then immediately give yourself, not immediately, but give yourself better posture. Look at yourself in the mirror and you look more confident. You look better, dare I say sexier. I said it, I dared but I'm telling you, good posture goes a long way. Okay, tip number two is eyes, but it's not just eyes, it's having bright eyes. This is one of those tips that I feel like if you're going to go get pictures done professionally, say for your senior photos or your wedding photos, engagement photos, maternity, whatever, whatever it is, and you're gonna have close-ups, take eye drops with you just in case, because if your eyes are red at all, when you put eye drops in, it will brighten your eyes, they'll look whiter, and the, your actual eye color itself will pop. Makes such a difference. Tip number three is about skin. Specifically, it's about peach fuzz. Ladies, when you remove your facial hair, your makeup lays so much prettier. But when you remove your facial hair, you're also doing what? You're exfoliating. So if you haven't seen it, I have a video all about how I shave my face. Recently I've been using um, another product. This isn't sponsored, it's just something that I was sent and I've been using its um, contour. And I add, I put the tip on this and then I just shave off my, my facial hair, it's amazing. Don't need this if you don't want it. You can easily go get the little shavers like I use in my video from Walgreens or Target or wherever. But when you shave that peach fuzz off, your makeup looks so much nicer. It gives a smooth canvas for smooth application and it takes off that extra layer of dead skin. Tip number four, we're going back to the eyes. But this time we're talking about the lashes. I'm telling you, the focus, when, when you look at photos, I, I myself, my eye is immediately drawn to somebody's eyes. And when a girl has beautiful lashes, it takes the cake for me. So focus on your lashes. If you have it in your budget, consider extensions. I love extensions so much. My eyes don't love them. I love them. Or false lashes. I love false lashes. I do them in so many videos. So if you want to know how to do them, I have a million videos that I've done. Not really a million, but you know what I mean. Um, my favorite brands are, well, my favorite brand is Salon Perfect. I get them at Walmart. Love their lashes, 614, 615s. Or do individuals. If you don't have a steady enough hand to do a full lash band, do individuals. They go a long way. You can double them up. You can make them as thick as you want. Or go the route that I'm doing right now, which is lash serum. Makes your lashes grow. I'm using Grand Lash MD, and I love how long my lashes have gotten. Number five, we're talking about the lips. Okay, girls, plump lips, they look nice, right? So you could do a couple of things to have a plump, plumper pout for, that's hard to say, say that five times fast, plumper pout, plumper pout. Anyways, you can do a couple of things to make your lips look fuller, prettier for pictures. Number one is you can buy a product that plumps lips. There's tons of lip glosses out there that you can get that are, that are plumping. My favorite is to overline your lip, is to use a nude liner and just draw a little bit outside of your natural lip line to make your lips look a little bit fuller. And then I like to use a nude lip color and then apply just a tiny bit of gloss right in the, do you see how the, lit, the light is grabbing the middle of my lips because I have a gloss on? It immediately makes my lips look fuller. Also, you want to add highlights to your cupid's bow and a little bit of contour right here under there. And that immediately, it just changes your mouth and makes your lips look fuller. Number six, we're talking about the legs. 
If you are taking photos that include your full body, wear nude heels. Nude heels create the illusion of longer legs. They elongate your legs, especially if you're wearing a dress or skirt. Number seven, wear solid colors. First of all, find colors that enhance your skin tone, um, complement your skin tone, look good on your skin tone. For me, I know yellows make me look like I have jaundice, so why would I wear yellow? Another color looks terrible on me, red. It looks good, eyeshadow, outfit, not so much. But what colors I know look good on me, like cobalt blue, that's a color that I'm gonna pick if I'm gonna do pictures. You probably have seen a lot of cobalt blue on me because I know that it looks good. But stay away from wild prints, stay away from trendy things because you are taking a picture and you wanna look back years to come and you don't wanna think, why in the world did I wear that? You know, so pick something that's gonna stay in style for a long time. This tip, tip number eight, is about your chin. This is specifically about posing. Okay. You can pose two different ways with your chin and you're gonna get two different results. And it depends on the, the shape of your face. If you want to hide the appearance of a double chin, you do not want to pose like this, chin up. You want to instead elongate your neck because that will help hide the double chin. So when you're posing, elongate your neck in a natural way, not that you look like this, but just help you know, yourself along a little bit. Push your chin out a little bit and it will help to hold those muscles tighter. Now, if you do not have an issue with a double chin and you wanna have like more of a sultry, sexy look, then what you wanna do is pose with your chin down when you're looking and smiling because that will help to look a little bit sultry. Tip number nine is take practice photos. You can do this for two, way, two reasons. One is makeup, two is outfit. If you have somebody who can snap some photos for you, so for instance, if you're gonna take photos outdoors, go the day before or whatever, around the time of day that you're gonna be taking pictures. If you're taking pictures at golden hour, then go out golden hour in your outfit and your makeup a couple days before, snap some photos so that you can make sure you like the way that you look. If you don't have somebody else to help you, then at least snap photos of yourself some selfies um, in that light or in the mirror or something because you the worst thing is that when you get your photos back and you hate the way that you look. You wanna make sure that you're comfortable with the way your makeup looks and your outfit looks. Okay, number 10. This one doesn't apply to me because I've never figured it out, but it's the, something that I have heard in every single blogger event or blogger photo that I've been to, and it's finding your good side. I have been to so many blogger events that I've been taking pictures with my friends and they're like, wait a minute, I wanna be on this side, this is my good side. I'm like, how do you know what side is your good side? But apparently people do have a good side. So if you can, find your good side and know how to use that to your advantage for photos. Tip number 11, and this is our last one, and this one is all about the mental state. Think good thoughts if you want to look good. Think sexy thoughts if you want to look sexy. <laughs> Whatever it is that you want to look, think it. If you want to look happy, think happy thoughts. But you have to feel it so that it actually comes across on the camera. If you're in a bad mood and then you're smiling, guess what? It's not going to look organic. It's not going to look like you're having a good time. And you're not going to look like you're even wanting to be there. So think happy thoughts. All right, guys, those were my 11 tips for how to look instantly pretty for your photos. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know, do you wanna see more videos like this? I actually would really like to film a video about um, how to pose for photos because I have had a lot of practice because I have taken a lot of pictures in six years of vlogging. I would love to know how many pictures I've taken. It's gotta be in the thousands. It's got to be. Because you guys are only seeing the ones that I actually approve, you know? Anyways, let me know in the comments below, do you wanna see more of these videos? And what is your best tip for getting your prettiest face forward for pictures? Like how do you instantly look better? Do you just like feel confident and that's it? That's a great tip. That's tip number 12, guys. Be confident. All right, don't forget to visit me on my blog, AngelaLanter.com and follow me on Instagram, YouTube at Angela Lanter, and please subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I love you all so much. Au revoir.